I'm pretty sure you've probably heard that if you want to enter flow state on command, you need to start working one to two minutes after waking up. But I'll show you how by doing this, you're becoming dumber every day. Now, if you zoom in on the hour, yes, this will help you enter flow state faster and easier in the morning because the brainwave activity while you're sleeping is very similar to the brainwave activity when you're in flow state. So there is not a lot of friction for you to enter flow state and to maintain a high level of focus straight after waking up. But if you zoom out and have a look at the grand scheme of things, this will be particularly bad for your sleep and recovery. Now, if you simply understand what it takes in order for your circadian clock to work at the best level, you need to optimize two main chemicals cortisol and melatonin. The one controls the other. So what needs to happen is that every 24 hours, no matter what, there will be an increased production of melatonin in your system. No matter what, this will happen. This is something that requires to happen in order for you to perform at a very high level with a lot of energy and a lot of focus. If you do things correctly, if you do the appropriate things when waking up in the morning to amplify your cortisol production, your circadian rhythm will look something like this. And what we see here what we notice is that the moment your cortisol peaks in the morning there will be an internal countdown that starts inside your brain that says in 12 to around 13 hours from now i will start producing enough melatonin in order for me to get good sleep to get in sleep if that's true if you're doing the wake up and do two hours of work straight after waking up in order to get flow state because if you do the two hours of work and then you do your morning routine to recover you're essentially delaying laying this increase in cortisol production for after three hours after you wake up. And what's going to happen is that your melatonin production is also going to be delayed because the time from where you woke up and the time that you achieved the cortisol peak is actually larger. So you don't wake up and you don't achieve appropriate levels of cortisol because if you just open your computer and stay in front of your computer in the first 60 seconds after waking up, there is simply not going to be enough stimulus to trigger that cortisol release. You're only going to be exposing your eyes to bright light from your screen and it's not enough in order for you to facilitate this increase in cortisol production. And so while this might help you with flow state in the moment, in the grand scheme of things, it will be worse for your recovery and your sleep. And by having worse sleep, you will be able to perform worse the next day. And so you're only going to be leveraging flow state in the first couple hours after waking up in which you are going to get more stuff done. Yes, but you're not going to be able to sustain that over a long period of time because your recovery will tank. And you can easily track this by using a wearable like the Oura Ring or a Whoop Band to track your HRV, to track your stress levels, to track track your REM sleep, deep sleep, not only how many hours you're sleeping throughout the night, but also how many out of those hours you're actually staying asleep for. That aside, because now you kind of have an understanding about the cortisol thing and the melatonin, why do we need to get a cortisol release, a high cortisol level first thing when waking up? Why do we need to do that? You kind of understand now how this will affect your sleep because again, increase in cortisol production needs to take place as soon as you wake up in the morning. The longer you wait to amplify this cortisol production, the worse your sleep is gonna be because the melatonin production follows the peak of the cortisol production you achieve in the morning. I hope this is clear. Now, that aside, there also is another big and really interesting and really significant source of data that has been proven through all of the neuroscientific research. So let me play a video on the screen right now. What all the neuroscience data suggests is the best time to do your exercise is right before you need to use your brain in the most important way that you need to use it every day. And so that is why the morning for most of us is beneficial. That's why I do it in the morning. I'm lucky enough to be able to do that. And so that simply comes to show you that when you're talking about performing at your peak while you're working, conducting the highest quality of work, not only because you're able to enter flow state easily, but also because you're able to recover at the peak. There's another video that I can show you, but it doesn't really make a lot of sense that says, I think this was a quote from Brian Johnson 
person, if you want to play games at the very high intellectual level, you need to optimize your sleep. And so with this technique that you're entering flow state in the first two minutes after waking up, you're optimizing your flow state in the moment, but in the grand scheme of things, you're deteriorating your sleep quality. And by doing so, you're going to have less emotional balance the next day. You're going to have more stress. You're going to have lower testosterone levels because you're don't allow for enough REM sleep acquisition. And as a result of that, you might think that you're getting more stuff done in the hour, but in the year, your net performance goes down and down and down. And you're ending up dumber than you first started. So I hope this makes sense. If you want more details on how you can properly optimize your circadian rhythm so that you achieve flow state, not only in the first two minutes after waking up, but you're able to maintain a very insanely high level of execution and level of performance consistently without burning out then you might want to click the link in the description to check out what I got to say there. And aside from that, I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.